بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله we've been covering uh, some أحاديث regarding regarding the the روح the the soul and what happens prior to death and some of the things which will happen after a person passes away. So now we're just going through some ahadith in regards to the blessings and the favours which will take place in inside the inside Barzakh. Now first of all, Barzakh, what does that mean? Barzakh is an Arabic word. And Allah Ta'ala has, has mentioned in the Quran وَمِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخٌ إِلَىٰ يَوْمْ يَبَعْثُونَ so the first of the ayah, which uh, which which is mentioned, it starts with La Ali Armal Sahihan Fima Taratu Kalla. Inna ha kalimatan huwa qa inuha wa min wara ihim barazahun ina yom yubaratum. So over here Allah Ta'ala is mentioning this this incident, this scene that a person what will happen is um after they pass away they wish that they could act righteously. And and return back, return return back to the world. So upon this, Allah Taala says, "Kalla inna kalimatun huwa qa'iluha." That these are just words which the person is saying, meaning you know, there's no reality to it, you know. And from yom baraih barazakun ila yom ibaratun, and in front of these people who who be wishing to come back to the world so that they could change the the way that they lived and they could live a pious life to this Allah Ta'ala will say that no that they can't do that why because there's a barzakh in front of them there's a barzakh until the day that which they resurrected so what barzakh literally means is is a barrier and it implies and it refers to anything which interve- intervenes between you can say two states, two phases, two conditions, or two objects. So it's something which intervenes. So in, in our case, what it means is that barzakh is something which intervenes between the period of death and the day of judgment. And like we mentioned, the meaning of the verse is that the wish for for the non-believer, for the kafir who, who passed away, uh, his his wish to be returned to the world is, is fruitless. Why? Because he's reached the the stage of Barzakh and from there there's no return. No return to the world is possible and there's no way that a person can live a second worldly life. So hey, this is Barzakh. So Barzakh simply means a barrier but what it really refers to is the, the intervening period between death and the Day of Judgment. So now there's a hadith. Our Prophet has, has said, إِذَا قُبِرَ لَمَجِّتُ أَتَاهُ مَلَكَانِ أَسْبَدَانِ أَزْرَقَانِ يُقَالُ لِأَحَدِهِمَا الْمُنْكَرُ وَالْآخَرُ النكير. So our Prophet mentioned that when, when, a dead per, when a dead person is buried, then obviously after being buried, what will happen? Two black angels with blue eyes come to him. One is called Munkar and the other is, is Nakir. So these two angels, they will be the angels who will be uh, questioning uh, all the people in, in the grave. So now they'll ask a question. So the first question is, okay... What do you say regarding this person, meaning our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? So the person in the grave, which we're referring to here, he will reply by saying, Oh, he is a servant of Allah and a messenger of Allah Ta'ala. Meaning the person who will say the kalima, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. So in other words, when this person will be asked this question, that, oh, what do you say regarding this person, meaning our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? So he, reply, he will reply by saying, oh, this is a servant of Allah, and this is a messenger of Allah, and I testify and bear witness that there is no Lord besides Allah Ta'ala, and that, and that Muhammad, meaning our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is Allah Ta'ala's servant and Allah Ta'ala's messenger. 
fayaqulani qad kunna na'lamu annaka taqulu hadha so obviously after seeing these signs both of these angels munkar and nikid will say that we knew that you were you were going to say this so they are already anticipating this answer thumma yufsahu lahu fi qabrihi sab'una dira'an fi sab'in thumma yunawwaru lahu fi thumma yuqalu lahu nam fayaqulu arji' fayaqulu arji' ila ahli fa ukhbiruhum and after this after giving the giving the correct reply you can say then this person this believer's grave is widened 70 dira 70 dira is a dira is a measurement so it's expanded by 70 cubits 70 by 70 you can say that so it's just a measurement which is which is given here and then the grave is is illuminated then this person this believer he then says uh, Allow me to to go to my family so that I may in, inform them. Meaning, I've I've reached this place, and my family perhaps they're they're worried and they're they're unsure of my condition and my whereabouts. So let me go back and tell them that I'm fine. فَيَقُولَانِ نَمْ كَنَوْمَةِ الْعَرُوسِ كَنَوْمَةِ الْعَرُوسِ الَّذِي لَا يُقِذُهُ إِلَّا أَحَبُّ أَهْلِهِ إِلَيْهِ حَتَّى يَبْعَثَهُ اللَّهُ مِنْ مَضْجَعِهِ ذَلِكَ then these two angels, they, they say to this believer that sleep, meaning don't worry, sleep like a groom who's awakened only by that person who's the most beloved to him from his family. Meaning the example given here is that usually when a person gets married and they, they spend the, the first night with their partner, then this is going to be a, a very, very special moment in one's life. So what happens is when the person is awakened by their by their partner, then obviously they're gonna wake them up in a very soft and and gentle manner. So here the angels are saying that don't worry, sleep sleep until your your time for, for resurrection comes, meaning the day of judgment comes. And when the day of judgment comes, then inshallah ta'ala you will be awakened in a very soft and gentle manner, inshallah ta'ala. So regarding these angels, you know, we, the description is that the angels Munkad and the Kira, they'll be black and they'll be having blue eyes. So, it, you know, from a from a onlooking thought, it seems something something to be fearful or regarding something to be scared about. However, in another hadith in Ibn Majah, they they mentioned some extra words where it says that a, a believer when they when they be confronted by Munkad and Nakir, then Inshallah, Tala, they they won't be distressed or they won't be bewildered or confused and and confounded. Rather, their hearts will be, Inshallah, Tala, in a in a stable in a stable way. The the hearts will be will be at peace, Inshallah, Tala. So may Allah Tala give us a to to Inshallah, Tala, be from amongst those believers who to answer our questions correctly and. And be from from amongst those believers who who have a comfortable a comfortable place in their grave, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanallah bihamdi subhanakallahumma bihamdi kashadwallah ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilaik.